What's up you guys, Mr. Ash here. Today we have a brand new video. Sorry that I haven't been posting lately. I was sick, like very, very sick with the flu and all that. But now I'm better and back to making videos. So this video will be a uh, Wrestle Kingdom 13 predictions video. <clears throat> so the pre Wrestle Kingdom 13 will be on January 4th, like always, at the Tokyo Dome. This card is pretty stacked, uh, but here are the matches. The pre-show is Yoji Nagata, Jeff Cobb, and David Finley versus Hangman Page, Ichiro Takahashi, and Marty Scroll versus Hiroki Goju, Beretta, and Chucky T. Richard Minoru, Suzuki, Lance Archer, and David Boy Smith Jr. Richard Ryazuki, Tatsuki, and both violent players, Togi McCabe and Toro Yano. Uh, number one contender for the number open weight six man tag team championship match. If one of those two win. I think you're going to get your shot at the next night at the New Year's Dash. <coughs> and uh, to be honest, I really hope that Monroe, Suzuki, Lance Archer, and Davey Boy Smith Jr. win. That is pretty much the powerful team on in this match. So I kind of see Suzuki done uh, winning this. If not, uh, Hiroki Goto, Beretta, and Chucky T, maybe? I don't know. But my pick is Suzuki. Good. Anyways. Kota. Kota Bushi versus Will Ospreay. Singles match for the Never Open Way Championship. This match will be a dream match, and it will be great. Just absolutely great. Who's going to win? It's probably going to be Kota Ibushi, sadly. I want Will Ospreay to win, but Will Ospreay is still a junior heavyweight, and I don't think he is ready to win an uh, actual heavyweight champion. Well, I do think that he's ready, but, you know, New Japan will probably not do that. So Kota Ibushi will probably win. Suzuki Gun, Al Desperado, and Yu Shanabu, Katamare, or Katamura, or, uh, versus Rapunky 3K, So and Yo, versus Los Economos, D Japan, Bushi, and Sango Takiji. It's probably going to be Bushi and Sango, uh, yeah, Sango, I just want to call him Sango. Uh, they're pretty good. L.I.J. is pretty, pretty good. Uh, to be honest, uh, Yo and So and pretty good too, but I think it's time for another tag team to take the lead. Tom Iro Ishii versus Zack Singer Jr. Singles match for the British Heavyweight Champion. I think the championship is from uh, what is that called? Resolution Pro Wrestling? RPW? Yeah. Uh, this match will be pretty good. Uh, I think Ishii is the champion right now. Yeah, Ishii is. Uh, I think Zack Sabre Jr. will win. I, I love his submission holds. He's a submission specialist and he does a pretty good job at it. So, that's a huge junior. We'll probably win. The next match is Gorilla of Destiny, uh, Tama Tonga and Tama Loya versus Sanada and Evil versus Matt and Nick Jackson. Tama Tonga and Tama Loya caught my attention for the last couple of months. They <laughs> are pretty good. With this whole new ball club thing with Jay White, those two, and Balak Valley, and Taji Ishmari, and Robbie Eagle. It's pretty good. Actually, and. Uh, 
I want Tama Tonga and Tama Loya to win, but I kind of feel like Evo and Sonata are going to win and the Young Bucks. Evo and Sonata are in this match because they won the World Tag League 2018. Uh, like I predicted it, and I got it right, and yeah, they won for the second year in a row, and going to Wrestle Kingdom for the second year in a row. And then Matt and Nick Jackson came out after the match, wanted to rematch. Which I get why, because Wrestle Kingdom won't have Wrestle Kingdom without the Young Bucks. I, that's why I think the Young Bucks are on the show. Yeah. And, and they're the best tag team ever. Maybe better than Edge and Christian. You know what? Edge and Christian is better. Pretty sure. But... Yeah, Tonga Tonga and Tonga Loya, if they win, perfect. If the other team win, perfect, because they're the three best team in New Japan, really. So, yeah. Cody Rose versus Juice Robertson. Cody Rose will probably win. Uh, Cody Rose left Ring of Honor. You know what? I said Juice Robertson. Yes, Juice Robertson will probably win because... Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks are opening up their own promotion, which is called All Elite Wrestling. I'm pretty excited for that. I want All Elite Wrestling to face Dida E, but probably not going to happen. But Keith Robertson will probably win, will be the camp that he thinks he will be, and so every time. Like he said in that promo, uh, Cody Rhodes never shows up. So Juice Robertson will uh, capture the United States Camp or the IWGP United States Champion once again. <coughs> Kushida versus Taji Ishimori. That Taji Ishimori guy is great. His finisher is pretty good. Not that I don't like Kushida, but Taji's morning is probably going to win. Man. The IWGP Heavyweight Junior, or IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion will probably steal the show. That's coming from me. Uh, I think that match is going to be top, top match on the card. So yeah, Taji's morning is probably going to win. Jay White versus Akada. Jay White. I want Jay White to win. He's been doing an absolutely great job being the leader of the Bullet Club. Because, you know, Kenny and all of them left. Which makes sense. And Akada playing with balloons in his entrance. And Chaos is just running downhill. So... Jay White is going to win, and that's the actual serious group in New Japan right now. So, yeah, Jay White is going to win. Kurt Jericho versus Tashina Naito. Single back for the IWGP Heavyweight Champion, or IWGP Intercontinental Champion. Good for Naito to uh, get a title back. Uh, since Kurt Jericho came, he's been facing all the Ally J members. Like, the past week, gave uh, Sango a concussion. <laughs> that was a brutal headshot right there. Good, beautiful headshot right there. Kurt Jericho cuts awesome promos in New Japan. Better than he does in Dida E. Well, no, Dida E. He cuts amazing promos and amazing matches. But Kurt Jericho done better in New Japan. <coughs> so yeah, Kurt Jericho probably gonna win. Uh, I'll be happy. And then I'll be happy to see the Naito wins too, but Kurt Jericho is my bet. Kenny Omega, Kenny Omega versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. She goes mad for the IWGP Heavyweight Champion. So, <sighs> Kenny Omega is one of my favorites in New Japan, and Hiroshi Tanahashi is too. But if I have to choose, it's probably going to be Kenny Omega. 
because I think he's going to lose it at the G1 Supercard, you know, Madison Square Garden where New Japan and Ring of Honor will be at. So I think that will be a great show, but yeah, that match will be great. Kenny Omega going to win. I don't mind if Hiroshi wins either, but I think Kenny Omega will win this match. So that is my Wrestle Kingdom prediction. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.